guys and girls, this is Glenn here again with another rope reach video. Today's going to be a super quick one. We're going to talk about how to jump rope backwards doing side swings. What's up guys and girls, this is Glenn here again with another rope bridge video. Today's going to be a super quick one, we're going to talk about how to jump rope backwards doing side swings. This is going to be the first in a little mini series of videos where we're looking at various little aspects of jumping rope backwards, various little techniques. We're going to go through side swings, crossovers, double unders, double under crossovers, all, all sorts of stuff. and. A good starting point if you haven't yet seen it is the introductory video on this topic um, which I'm going to link up in one of these corners and in that video we pretty much talked about why jumping rope backwards is a pain in the ass and how you can make it simpler so that's a great starting point to check out first um, highly recommend you do so because it shows the fundamental mechanics of jumping rope backwards with regards to timing, uh, with regards to jumping technique, etc, etc. So without further ado, let's crack into the side swings. The only real difference is the movements of the hands, so whereas for the forward side swing you're moving your hands as such, sort of like opening and closing that way, with jumping rope backwards you want to move the rope away from you so that the flick of the wrist is less towards you and more away from you um, really it's really just about keeping the technique correct because if you if you get that wrong everything just goes to pop I mean the technique goes the speed goes um, the repetitions go repetition is everything as well so need to focus on keeping that keeping that down to a T um, it takes time it takes repetition but We'll get there in the end. I've got faith in you guys. I'll do it. Anyone who's seen the legendary film Karate Kid will remember Mr. Miyagi as he demonstrated the wax on, wax off. Now show me wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. Wax off. Wax off. Wax off. Wax off. Wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. Show me wax on, wax off. Catch! 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 You know, that kind of thing. Similar sort of principle here. Okay, it's that motion, that flicking motion either side. Once you've got that flicking motion away from the body, you've pretty much got the side swing backwards down. As long as you can do a side swing forwards, um, the flicking motion is the, is the only tweak really. Once you've got that down, you can then work on various side swing transitions. After you've been able to build, build up to that point, you can work on a side swing transition of switching your hands. similar to transitioning, switching the hands going forward, which was in the previous side swing video, in which I talked through the top three side swing transitions, that's gonna be linked up in that corner, not that corner. But when you're on the side of your leader hand, which is leading the side swing, so if you're right-handed, you're gonna start off with your leader hand on top, your right hand on top. When you're on that side, you make the switch as so and then you can go back to swinging again, okay? Now your lead hand is your left hand. If you wanna make that switch transition again, you wait until you're on your left side and make that switch. Okay, it's in front of the plane of the body. If you do it on this side and you wanna transition it, you're gonna get caught here. It's not gonna work, 
okay so it has to be done over here you switch and you're swinging again another thing you need to bear in mind is that you need to have those handles pointing away from the body at a 90 degree angle i always tell people to imagine you've got two friends stood either side of you and you want to point your handles at your friends okay it needs to point away from the body um, the temptation is for the handles to slip inwards a bit especially if you've been jumping rope forwards for a long time so those handles pointed away from the body if they slip inwards that rope is most likely going to hit you on the foot on the heel hey it's better than hitting you on the toes when you're jumping rope forwards but hitting yourself on the heel just because you're jumping rope backwards isn't ideal either you feel Okay, I'm done now. So that's it, it's a wrap. That is how to do side swings backwards. I appreciate you taking the time to check out the video. I hope it was helpful. If it was, hit the like button down below. Maybe even drop me a comment. Who knows? We can get a little dialogue going on down there. I always love that. I'm going to talk over this helicopter now and ask you to subscribe. Hit the notification bell as well so you don't miss any videos. Thanks for watching. All the best with your training and stay raging. Yeah, call her when you, when you get home. I'd appreciate that, mate. So if you've seen the side swing tutorials for jumping rope forwards, you'll remember that the technique involves having... Oh, these birds, man. They're gonna fuck up the video. Okay. I think they're quiet now.